Hello everyone, welcome back to Beards, Bourbon, and Games. I'm your co-host, Conquer Corey. With me, I have Mike. Yeah! And today, we're playing Tormented Soul. It is an uh, indie game developed by, uh, I think, Dual Effect? I think if I'm reading that right, but uh, it's uh, kind of like the old school Resident Evil on the Dark series, is what it advertises itself as. And you know me and Mike, we're all about survival horror in old school so this was a no brain no brainer decision I'm super excited about this let's do this thing oh I clicked start <laughs> it was only 20 bucks too so I hope this is not like just two hours long it's, that, that is the game thank you for playing thank you for your money yeah you know just long enough to keep get you over that steam refund period that might be why'd you do that to us That is an interesting dress to wear with that leather jacket. Oh, she stabbed herself in the eye. You can definitely a letter tell for me. Oh. I never receive letters. Oh, yes, that's voice acting. We don't have to read. Oh. Okay, let's see here. Caroline Walker, who's it from? Who's it from? You know, I've never ever seen envelopes like that. Oh, that's a uh, international envelope. Oh, uh, okay. Carolina Walker... Canada. Um, John Doe. That's not suspicious at all. Oh, crap. It is going to make us read. From John Doe, Wild Burger Hospital, Winter Lake, Blackwood Island, Canada, to Caroline. Oh, it's just our address. Okay. All right. And just like the old school Resident Evils, we have to rotate the items and click. I like this. Oh. That's oh, a picture. It's not creepy at all. <laughs> Huh? Apparently, that hurt her head. You just think you can simply abandon us, abandon us here? That's ominous. All we need. It's time to go. Uh, actually, look. Right. <laughs> it's been two weeks since I received that letter from the Wildberger Hospital. Since then, Wildberger. I been fine. <laughs> I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I, I just be glad you're not going to the Whataburger I Hospital. Able to fall <laughs> it's only to dream horrible nightmares. Well, look, I need to know what's going on. That's totally on. not the Spencer Mansion. What's the meaning of all of this? Totally not. I'm going to the Wildburger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. Don't we all? So far, I'm digging the aesthetics. I am too. You can tell it's an indie game, but so far it's good. Like I don't, I don't feel like. Hey, if anything, we're living in the age of indie games where I'm starting to see indie games put more effort into games than AAA studios. Oh, heck are. yeah. Uh, uh, medium. Yeah. Probably not the RPD slash Spencer Mansion. Whack. Ow. That guy rolled a 20 on his attack. Holy crap. That's a real nice way to treat somebody looking for a hospital. Just want some help. She's in the right place. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, wait, what, 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 what have they got in their mouth there? Is that, is that uh, a breathing, breathing tube? And we're going to say that she's in water. She's in water. That's what we're going to say. Oh. Uh. I didn't know this was a Japanese game. It is? Uh, <laughs> oh, since you... The question is, how long was she in there? That's a good question. Just happened to find her clothes? Yes. Don't no question it, Mike. Alright, so we have tank controls. And you're trying to do it with keyboard. 
Godspeed, sir. <laughs> Not too bad. Why was I connected to the respirator? Because you're dead. Okay. Respirators. What happened to your eye? Oh, I bet her eye's gone. Do it, lady. Oh, they stole her eye. Well, I mean, you still got one. Just hope nothing else is missing. And 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 and, and I, I don't know anything about the human anatomy, just about it. My question is, how long how long does it take? If you remove an eye surgically, how long does it take to heal up? Because right. you notice there was no blood around there. It was perfect. It's like scooped it right out. <laughs> how long have I been here? I guess that's a good question. So I really hope that she had a, found a fresh bandage and didn't pick up the one on the floor and put it back over her eye. Because, <laughs> you know, again, again, I'm not a medical expert, but that just that just screams infection to me. Just it's a bad little things. bit, huh? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're 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 taught these things as kids, right? Right. Okay. Today is the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we have endured the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there is more. After all this time, she has returned to me. Oh, so she left her boyfriend. Uh, she looked at me uh, with her eyes wide as if uh, she... Words are hard. As if she had not seen me in years. Like she was waking up from a dream. That is not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch <laughs> to find the exact time at which the first baby, Emma, was born. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked, and the hand utterly stopped. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> I don't know why. Dramatic pause here. <laughs> Give me a second. Pregnant Dramatic pause. Moment. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I do not think this event to have some meaning or other. I am not a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it is a sign. Uh, she has started using the... the, the, the wow, I cannot read the night. Uh, the hour as her lucky number and uses it for everything. In what hour? <laughs> so we left our boyfriend, you say, huh? <laughs> I mean, from, from the way that thing read... Uh, hey, look, they put a tank on there. Oh, tank nice. Uh, the way it read, it's like, hey, she's returned to me, and we got two beautiful angels. So it's like, it's like she left him, and then she comes back and goes, surprise, I'm pregnant. I got twins. <laughs> They're yours. You know, don't worry. After about a year of leaving you for Fabio, you know, the pool cleaner. <laughs> Fabio's the beautiful man. Do not let the, sh the shadows embrace you. What does this mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? It means, don't let, the, <laughs> it means don't let the shadows embrace you. Jeez. Why am I making YouTube videos? <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Open the latch, open the latch, open the latch. Examine. Ooh. Ah, why do I keep messing up? I'm stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. Okay. Put that little top button out there. Boom, yeah. I bet that's her. I'm calling it right now. She's one of those kids. Oh, this is so hard. Okay, so 12. Oh, no. Yeah, 12. Twelve thirty-five. 35. Uh, no, 12 34, actually. I wonder if that's now. this. He did say she uses it for everything. Oh, it was 35. Oh! 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 Well, this game's obviously wrong. You don't know how to read a dial watch. <laughs> oh, the digital age. Oh, 
Okay, this is pretty cool already, like legitly. Yeah, I really like it's got kind of like the, there's not pre-rendered backgrounds. I bet you're gonna have to examine it and like uh, extend the ratchet or the whatever, you know, you, you know what I mean. That's you're right. Oh wow, it matters how far. Oh wow. I'm gonna like this game already. Now that's probably the most creative way I've seen a uh, wrench used in a game. Uh. So it's not pre-rendered, it's kind of like more like Code Veronica, and I like that. Keep it. Okay, spacebar is items. Keep hitting spacebar trying to jump. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> And you keep running towards it. Uh, that, that's just freaky right there. Ladder. Hey, ooh. Staple item. I think you equipped it. Use it kind of like as light. Boom! Look at you. I do a good job sometimes. Oh, now we can see down here. Ah, uh, why? I mean, she's taking all this in stride. I mean, she woke up in a random bathroom with a tube down her throat, her eyeball removed, in some freaky place that... And she just kind of skipping along, like, all happy, like, hey, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to go to the Katy Perry concert tomorrow. <laughs> I can't believe it. Ah! <laughs> And it looks like we're gonna have a nail gun, possibly. Okay. Which is pretty cool. The Nightmare, painted by Henry. Usually. In 1781. Hmm. Picks a woman in a deep sleep. The demonic incubus crouched on her chest. This looks like the original. Because it is the original. Tim, Tim, Tismute trap. According to the latest ar archaeological, uh, ar archaeological, ar archaeological. There we go. My goodness. You got my, this. My English teacher would be so disappointed in me now, Mr. Lewis. I'm sorry. I failed you. Um, discoveries uh, on Winter Lake Island. The I'm not even going to say that tribe resided in the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this uh, is an ancient underground cemetery found deep inside a cavern on the island's shore dating from the 10th century. Oh, okay. All right. More than 286 skeletons belonging to 10-year-old uh, children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in pairs, and experts suggest that these were twins buried together. Oh, God. Okay, first of all, let me go ahead and just say, the background music is creeping me out. Yeah. And that's the most terrifying thing ever, is the vending machine's out of order. Uh. Okay, they've done a good job with the tension. I feel it. Now, see, this reminds me more of, like, Silent Hill. Yeah. This doll gives you a creep. That makes two of us, lady. Did a good job with the shadows too. Good job, guys. This is a safe room, isn't it? Perfect plastic cart. Okay. okay. I guess I need that. A tape is required to save process. Uh... Very nice. And can the human torso. Oh, does his heart go there? Maybe. I, I equipped it? Oh, it has to be equipped with something. 
Oh, we gotta combine it with something, probably. Oh, nice! I guess we should save. <laughs> okay, I have to hit the meat button. Oh, there's only one resource. An old magnetophone. It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. <laughs> my name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burger Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain, and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation, and my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? I don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? Okay. So, did that use... Yes. So, we do lose our tapes when we use them. Okay. Well, good to know. They have my medical books, nothing useful. Well, I mean, you can look on how you can get your eye back. I want to lift the cover. I don't know what's in it. Right. Oh, morphine. I guess morphine is the first aid. I guess so. Alright, so we gotta remember where this is at. Got like a map or anything? That's what I've found so far. <sighs> we need another... Uh, I bet, hey, I bet a crank handle goes there. Yeah, I bet you're right. Voice acting leaves something to be desired so far, but other than that, the game has been sufficiently creepy for me. You know what? They might have done that on purpose, because you remember the original Resident Evil voice acting? You know? It was it was cheesy. I never thought of that. Hey, look, there's a thing you asked for. Oh, yeah. yeah can, I, can I not take it? Really? I can't take the maps. That's odd. We gotta remember where we're going. So much information. Maria, Maria Wahlberger's diary. Uh. June 6th. 1963. I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin, but my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left by my father's whip. William asked me why he did it. Of course, I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William will never look at my father in the same way again. Uh, creepy? Can you pull the paper off there, off the diary? Find out. It's got some tape there. Call the okay. Wait, what? Huh? Oh god! Oh gosh! Puzzle. Uh, planet humans. Uh, aliens. Okay. Oh, there's a key part I got to put in there. Oh, wait, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Finally. Carvings are creepy.
right. Okay, here we go. Come in handy. Yep. Whatever. Patient report. Dr. William Wildberger. Since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transfer could worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new to a new, the new hospital. The patient has cardiac cardiac insufficiency and requires an, an immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 11.34 p.m. due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding on to a metal object. With the rapid onset of rigor mortis, I have been unable to remove it from their hand. Oh, man. We're going to have to break somebody's hand. The lighting effects in this game are very good. Yeah, it looks like they worked quite a bit on it. Uh. See, I hate when it does... Oh! Hello. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's just go on forward. What do you say? Yeah, go, go, go the direction of the monster, Mike. Sure. What the? I'm just creeped out as you, homie. Maybe I should go back and check the other way. I hope we get a weapon soon. Oh, oh great. Oh, no. I messed up. Do you like running, Mike? You're going to be running. It said no running. Uh. <laughs> Woo! Church. Like, it's father, right? Yeah. What the hell is going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? Oh, no. A it's person to in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. What? What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a Canadian company. <laughs> sorry. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Well, Where is everybody? I I'm confused, too. Yeah. So... The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Huh? Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Uh... Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. I see. I'll do that. 
What about the guy that's out there? Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. Thank you, Father, but what are you going to do without a weapon? My child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. There we go. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> Thanks, old man. That's really very nice. <laughs> well, I love how you use clipboards to tell you how to. Okay, let's clip that. I guess we can combine the nails with it. I have 10 shots. Oh, okay. Seven more. Okay, good, cool, cool. Okay, I feel I feel much better now. A shift will let us dodge. Alright. I came here looking for information about the two girls in this photograph. I see. What do you want to know about them? Anything, really. You know I them? was hoping to find some leads around here. Well, he does know them. I don't know what you're looking for, but I can tell you these girls are no longer with us. There was an incident some decades ago where they disappeared, never to be found again. That sounds terrifying. Yeah. Indeed, if you want more details, you could try the mansion library. I'm sure you'll find something there. Thank you, Father. Take care. All right. Yes. Ooh, yes. We'll take more of that. Hopefully the enemies on, on here are, are not ridiculously tanky. Tanky. Bet you they are. Looks like there's, hey, wait, turn around. There's, looks like there, there's a bar on that table there. Like a melee weapon. Oh, this. Not plugged in. Well-worn crowbar. Yes. Can you, can you hit that? Yes. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm feeling better and better about this. It'd be kind of cool if they'd had something that would, you know, hot swap between the ladder and the nail gun. Yeah. How annoying going back. Ah! Going. That ain't unsettling at all. Oh, crowbar. Use crowbar. I wonder if you can melee it. Oh! Oh, oh crap. I cannot be in the dark at all. Oh, wow. That... That's good to know. Well, we have nothing that we can use on this, so... Have to go back out here and face. So if you go, if you stay in the dark, you die. Yeah. But I'm gathering. Okay. Well, that's... All right, everyone. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Boy, uh, turned out to be an interesting game here. So uh, we're learning a little bit more. We got a weapon now. We got two weapons. We got a crowbar and we got a nail gun. So uh, we're gonna go make Isaac proud. From Dead yeah. Space, so he's on using our tools as weapons. But next episode, we're going to try to go down to this generator, see if we can't turn the power back on to the hospital. It apparently shouldn't be in the dark. So uh, if Mike and I do not die to this, we will uh, maybe do a showcase of what happens if you do stay in there. But uh, as always, I'm your co-host, Conqueror Corey. I'm Mike. 
and we'll see you.